Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BFX. We had another bumpy week last week and um, could be uh, looking um, looking for another uh, bumpy week the upcoming week. There is uh, not much um, that changed out there. The sentiment is still the same. It's all about the virus outbreak in uh, many different countries and the number are still getting higher and higher so um, yeah it's all about this sentiment uh, we have at the moment and um, I will try to guide you through the uh, major forex um, uh, markets as usual including gold and oil so um, yeah guys while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you there So welcome back guys a quick look at the calendar and um, uh, the same as I said last week I will repeat it uh, again uh, start to expect uh, bad numbers coming out from uh, all the country all over the world uh, we do have um, um, on Tuesday <laughs> what usually be uh, very important numbers the manufacturing PMI services PMI from Europe and uh, from USA also from uh, UK so um, these gonna also um, give a, a bit of a guidance of how bad the situation is out there and the next one uh, next month the numbers will be even more important so you need to keep an eye on those uh, Wednesday um, um, German final I for business climate I'm also expecting this to be a bad number CPI for the sterling year on year on the end on Thursday. I think uh, this uh, the unemployment claims gonna be a very important thing to look at. I'm expecting more than a million. Uh, market is forecasting 750 unemployment claims. Uh, this is also a number that will um, be very very important. Um, <laughs> the rest of uh, the next uh, couple of months um, we do have also the official bank rate votes and uh, no one is expecting a lower rate than this but it's important to see what the monetary policy gonna be from the sterling so um, yeah uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, the chart and uh, the usual we'll start with the Dixie if we take a look at the weekly time frame we have a clear um, strong uh, break above uh, previous high uh, break and close above these important levels and there was not much uh, for the market uh, left to test this previous uh, high uh, from back uh, 2016 and uh, on the daily time frame Friday we had a little bit of um, a correction we still do have a big divergence on the RSI on the daily time frame for our time frame also um, on Friday we had um, a bit of a rejection could be profit taking as well but still uh, the dollar uh, for now is still a uh, bullish market on um, both weekly daily and four hour time frame uh, with uh, swing with higher highs and higher lows so um, as for now it is still bullish what's important here on Friday that we did not get a uh, higher high last week uh, on Friday so um, one could expect a potential um, correction to the downside in my opinion as far as we are trading above this trend line we may see a continuation to the upside so keep an eye at around the 100 level that gonna be an important area for the bulls to defend uh, but uh, I'm also expecting a little um, at least a short-term correction uh, now on the dollar to happen um, next week so uh, be aware of that uh, oil still uh, having uh, big troubles so if we look on the weekly time frame we see that we had a weekly close below this last line of defense here uh, the market did almost reach uh, the uh, uh, it is uh, it did actually uh, move as low as uh, 20 uh, the low was 20.04 and um, yeah on the daily time frame we got a uh, break of uh, a little bit of a range here retest and continuation 
so still oil in a big trouble as you see here and as far as there is no um, higher highs and higher lows to start happening it is still uh, considered to be a bearish market despite that at 20 is a very very low price guys if we look left uh, i mean uh, we are back at prices uh, from um, april 2000 this is sick and crazy but um, how sick it may be it is still a bearish market so um, we had a break below this range a retest and another move lower now still this uh, previous low is not broken the 20 gonna be a very important number i think um, the 20 is gonna be uh, the possible short-term support for now uh, for another bounce to the upside um, oil will reverse but the question is when and uh, why so it need to have some um, good news from the stock market you need to start seeing the stock market moving higher you need to start hearing something from the Saudis and the in Russia about uh, cutting uh, production and that for now is not happening as far as these fundamentals not changing there is uh, nothing that say uh, oil will move higher from here we may end up uh, trading inside this range or anything between um, 20 and 35 could be also a, a new range here to trade inside this level until a solution is out there uh, gold <coughs> still uh, holding at this support level this was a very important level so if we um, go to the daily time frame you know that i mentioned this level um, last uh, weekly overview when we talked about um, a possible support at this area because this would be the last line of, su of support on this structure before moving back down to 1365 1370 area so as for now and as far as this level at around the uh, 1450 is holding as support we are looking to buy uh, gold and um, i am already in a buy uh, that i mentioned in our uh, trading room for uh, the subscribers and uh, that was based on uh, first of all the important support level and after this uh, uh, nice bounce here another higher high here we were looking for a uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, 618 retracement uh, to go long and uh, we did go long here as uh, the sh uh, as shown in the chart and uh, yeah it went um, against us uh, for a long time to then uh, we saw a little bit of a break higher retest and now looking hopefully for that continuation the first target is up here and that is a one-to-one -one trade and uh, second target uh, at around monthly r1 if um, if the the idea goes as uh, planned so uh, the trade looks exactly like this a stop loss below previous lows and uh, these are the targets um, we have on uh, on this one UUSD still a bearish market we broke a key structure level um, looking left this swing low is now clearly broken with a very strong close below it if we move to the weekly time frame we see that the market did now close um, officially close the Macron gap or the French election gap that we had back here April 2017 uh, that is now closed on the weekly time frame as well and the daily so um, that is closed gap now and uh, yeah it is a pretty extended move the question is um, are we going to keep pushing lower to uh, this low back um, in December 2016 or are we gonna see a week where we may see um, some kind of correction first so um, we go down to four hour time frame we see that even this uh, time frame is still um, a bearish market with lower lows and lower highs we had a retest last uh, friday and continuation so we did a retest and a continuation but we did not have a break uh, below uh, support yet so monthly s2 is for now holding as a key support level and i would say um, as far as this holding as support we may see a short-term correction high otherwise if next week we see that the market failed to make a new high it is still a sell rallies market
first level to watch is this previous high actually any retest of that area that failed to make a new high uh, that is a possible level of uh, selling and of course a break below this monthly s2 could signal that, that continuation to happen if the market to open and start moving lower below these support this support level it is um, only to keep selling rallies sterling usd also um, still a, a bearish market we had a very strong move on friday to the upside to then uh, push back down if we look on the weekly time frame we see that we even on the monthly we um, the latest data we have was uh, back to 93 and uh, we are um, at the lowest low since uh, that time all time low since 93 and um, yeah uh, now we we did enter a total new area there is nothing to use looking left as possible support uh, all we have to do is uh, focused on the levels that we have on to the upside now and uh, the most important level at the moment is actually if the price gonna manage to break back above this area to then uh, continue higher that is the first important level for the sterling and uh, on the four hour time frame last week we had um, uh, a nice uh, attempt to uh, move higher we did break previous high and then we've got a little bit of a correction back down so this is something that we need to watch uh, the lows down here are for now the uh, most recent support we have uh, we need to use this area as uh, the last line of support for now and um, if the market uh, keep holding this support we may expect a bounce back up toward uh, this area but each and every time we reach this level we need to consider a possible move to the downside so as for now i'm watching this area to be uh, some kind of range area if there is no break lower but of course a break below this who knows how far we could uh, how far down we could go so those are the levels to watch on this uh, on this market usd jappy also a uh, very very strong uh, move we had a huge v-shaped move here and um, honestly if we look uh, on this chart now after breaking all these levels there is not much left to test the 112 as well um, in my opinion so um, uh, daily bullish four hour time frame still bullish i think as far as this trend line is holding any retest back down toward this area we're looking for a possible continuation toward 112 unless we see something like this that the market breaks start to breaking previous lows break the trend line fail to make a new high that would uh, then be a signal for more downside and that need to have the dixie to also move lower so you need to uh, consider uh, looking at both charts uh, and um, yeah uh, as for now it is still a bullish market we should be looking to buy unless we see uh, as i said um, the lows getting broken uh, uh, we start seeing a failed new highs we see a break of the trend line then we may start look for a possible uh, correction to the downside new zealand usd also we need to look at the weekly time frame and see where we are at uh, as you see here this market did push all the way uh, down here it almost uh, to the pip tested uh, this low down here before a little bit bounce higher but still it is a strong weekly close below all levels and uh, <clears throat> on the daily time frame uh, we still um, in a very bearish market it did move a lot it is pretty extended move for our time frame we had some correction for now you had this uh, oops you had this uh, impulse and the correction here so uh, this is now a uh, probable uh, correction that um, may continue lower so uh, what i'm thinking is if this could be a bearish flag and one more leg to the downside is possible another way to say it that now after um, after this uh, higher high higher low another higher low here we may start seeing some kind of a bottom but i really don't trust it it is still a very strong bearish market and any retest toward this area could be a signal uh, an area to sell at 
Uh, USD chief, uh, let's go to the weekly time frame on that one as well. And we see that we uh, did have a huge uh, move the, the last two weeks. Uh, corrected uh, this whole uh, move to the downside. Another V-shaped move on the dollar against um, uh, uh, the Swiss. And uh, we are testing uh, right now the 200 moving average on the weekly time frame. And on the daily time frame, there was a break and close above that two uh, 200 moving average, a break above previous high. So very, very strong. Uh, bullish uh, move at the moment and we may um, continue to see this uh, strength uh, as far as there is no um, change in market sentiments especially um, at the situation we have at the moment this risk sentiment we have um, all in all it is a bullish market we should be looking to uh, buy the dips and as far as this trend line is holding as support the same as UJ as far as this trend line is holding as support it could be a possible area to buy at there is a possibility that we may see a short-term correction uh, after this uh, double top in this strong bearish divergence you may see um, some short-term correction but do not um, see that as total capitulation we may get a correction and then a continuation to the upside uh, USD CAD also moved uh, very very strongly to the upside almost tagged previous high did not really tag it but it was almost at that previous high we are looking at the monthly time frame here and uh, if we go down to the weekly we see also that we do have a very strong weekly close above all these levels here uh, with a um, sometime uh, some kind of um, profit taking uh, at the top here uh, or uh, it could also be time for that correction to happen it is a parabolic move i never like parabolic moves that most of the time end up to uh, making a uh, 100% correction so keep an eye on that we had a nice trade last week on this one based on head and shoulder uh, scenario here and a break of the neckline now we've got the market retested that neckline and as far as there is no break higher we may keep looking for a uh, continuation to the downside on uh, USD CAD so keep watching this area this is an important level um, as far as there is no higher uh, new higher high here we, we may start at some kind of reversal on this uh, lower time frame with lower lows and lower highs now if this high happened to be a lower high than the previous one we may look for can uh, continuation to the downside Aussie USD also very strong uh, bearish move on the weekly time frame uh, if we look at the monthly we see that uh, we are trading below a major swing uh, down here uh, and if this month end up to be closing below this low there is a potential continuation toward these areas so on the daily time frame uh, we see that we have a very extended move and uh, it is still bearish even on the four hour time frame despite this nice move last week as far as there is no break above this high here I will consider this market to still being a, a bearish market yeah so the same as uh, New Zealand USD making some kind of correction it could be a beginning of a bottom maybe and then if we see a break above this level to then look for a deeper correction to the upside but be careful if there is no higher high made here we may see another uh, break to the downside here and this could end up to be a big bearish flag and a continuation to the downside so those are the scenarios you either wait for a break above this and look for a deeper correction to the upside but if it fails to do so then be uh, be aware of the possibility of a break and continuation to the downside on this market so um, yeah guys that was it for um, today thanks a lot and uh, see you next week stay safe bye bye